so if you're finding it hard to know the direction of the market in this video i'm going to show you guys a simple strategy that you can actually use to easily know the direction of the market so you know if we actually look at the market in a bigger picture we won't be able to know the direction of the market so as you know we're not fortune tellers that we can actually go back in time or go before time to know the direction of the market so if you're actually looking at the chart just as it is right now it's actually very confusing because you can see you know candlestick forming here and there which is very hard for us to understand so right here i'm going to show you guys the indicators that you need to set up everything that you need to do in order for you to be able to you know understand the direction of the market so the first thing you need to understand before we actually get into the video is we're not going to be using you know the plain charts like this but right here we're going to be using indicators although just to say it out i'm not a price action trader i don't trade with price action i don't trade with you know drawing support lines of my own i don't trade with drawing trend lines of my own I actually use indicators that actually shows me this thing this, because these indicators are actually mathematical formulas calculating the market in real time to show you you know the direction of the market in real time because i know the market is actually you know bound to give you fake outs so the government and the higher institution are about to throw fake outs showing you wrong places of support and resistance and you know you falling into the trap because one side reacted to it on our side reacted to it which is kind of messed up not using the mean parameters to actually actually you know know the direct path of support and resistance and knowing the direct path of you know price moving so yeah in this video i'm going to explain it all for you guys so yeah if you've been in the market you know the most important part of you know trading is to follow the direction of the market whenever you don't follow the direction of the market you're going to be making constant losses in the market which is one thing you actually need to avoid so what you want to do right now is that you want to go into the indicator section which is this part right here and you can see hit the main windows and what you have to search for is the moving averages the moving averages is something that we need you know to know the direction of the market already here i've already set my own the first part of it though so what you have to do is that you have to set the period of the moving average to be 20 so the first of this should be 20 then um shift should be zero the method should be simple apply to close and the style you have to make the color to be red and you know you can keep the pixels to be two so you have what you have to do is that you have to save that and hit done so the first indicator as you can see here is all done so the first one we're going to be using right here is all done so um it's already giving like it's already giving us like a little bit of context to where the market is going but you know um i can't really you know depend solely on just this you know one line to show me points of you know market going up or market going down I need something a little bit more of an in-depth information to actually you know know the direction of the market so the second indicator i'm going to be using right here is still the moving average but you know we have to tweak a little bit of something now what you want to do is that you want to change this period you know the period right here is actually 20 but what you want what you want to do is that you want to change the period to be 25 so change it to 25 and you know you don't want to actually get yourself confused when you see you know two red moving averages moving but they actually have different numbers so what you want to do is that you want to completely change the colors of this so that's why you have to go to the style and the color you have to change this to something a little bit vibrant so i don't know what's vibrant for you but for me i'll take yellow so you can keep it with something like you know just change the color just change the color to any or anything of your preference it will be all night so and yeah you have to put the pixels to be two so that you can clearly see this and it's not just fade into the background and every other thing now this thing you're actually seeing right here is actually going to make it very much more easier for you to know, know the direction of market so how this actually works is whenever you see you know the yellow moving average above the red moving average um that is actually trying to tell you that there is a sell in the market simple and meanwhile whenever you see the red moving average above the yellow moving average this is trying to indicate a buy in the market so yeah i think that should be very easy to understand but even if what i just explained doesn't sound easy to you so the simpler version of this is whenever you see price above the moving averages it's trying to indicate a buy or whenever price is below the moving average it's trying to indicate a sell but yeah let me give you guys a visual representation of how this actually works
see that the moving average doesn't just act as you know um a point to actually show you price of you know going up or going down it also shows you support and resistance in the market so it shows you the support and the resistance as the market is going in an uptrend and as the market is actually going in a downtrend so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like and if you want to be a part of the family and you want to see every video that make sure you hit that red subscribe button and with that being said i'll see you in the next video Thank you.